friends, welcome to our Elevate Now series, where we share views, testimonials, updates, and general information on the project Elevate, the Ralph Grand Repurpose and Rebuilding Project. Today we have Pauline Bryan sharing with us her experience when her father John Campbell stayed at our home. Pauline, what factors did you consider in entrusting the care of your father to us at Ralph Grant Home? It is never an easy decision to put your loved ones in the care of others. But the truth is that most of us are really not in a position to adequately care for our loved ones on our own, especially as it was in my case, while still working full time and having to participate in other meetings and events after normal working hours. So when dad required around the clock care, as a member of the Webster Church community, it was an easy decision for me to entrust this care to the Ralph Grant home, having myself observed the quality of the services they offered. You want to tell us what your experience with our original home was? While Dad was at Ralph Grant, I was completely satisfied with the level of care he received. The administrator at the time, the late Mrs. Sylvia Owens and her team, ensured that it was a home away from home. I never received any complaints from my dad, and on my regular visits, I was always assured that he was in good hands. Each resident received personal and specialized care, depending on their particular needs. Weather permitting, those who were able would enjoy time outside in the garden, where they were often led in hymns, choruses, or folk songs. Mrs. Fleur Nemhard and other volunteers also ensured that there were activities to engage their minds. Based on the close proximity to the church, there was also the opportunity for those who were able to attend church on a Sunday morning and to take part in other activities planned by the church, such as the intergenerational celebration held during the church's week-long observance of harvest in September. We are pleased that you and your family had a positive experience with us in the past. Now we know that there is room for improvement. You want to state a little bit more about what you were satisfied with? I recall that just weeks before his death, we had a party for dad at the home in celebration of his 90th birthday. Everyone participated. All the immediate family in Jamaica, including children, grandchildren and great-grandchildren were present, as well as the residents and staff of the home. The staff took charge of the proceedings, ensuring that everyone was looked after as we shared ice cream and cake and fetid dad on his special day. When dad's health deteriorated, Mrs. Owen was on the phone to me immediately to update me and ensured that he was transported to the hospital by ambulance, escorted by a member of her staff, who remained with him until I was able to join them and relieve her. I can say without fear of contradiction that Dad's stay at the Ralph Grant home allowed him to spend his last days in peace and comfort, thus making it easier for me to accept the fact that I myself was unable to offer him the level of care he needed. And what are you looking forward as it regards our refurbished home? Rolf Grant was a good home for seniors, run by a competent and caring staff. It was with sadness I learned of the closing of the home, but saw that it was going to afford them an opportunity to offer even better services. The new home will be a much larger and improved state-of-the-art facility with adequate lighting, space, and in addition to offering excellent health care, will provide facilities such as an internet cafe, commissary, and aquatherapy pool, making it unmatched in Jamaica. I look forward to the new and improved facility, which I am confident will offer those who choose its services all the comfort and care they may require. Thank you so much, Pauline. Webster family, 
we are on the journey of a lifetime, offering well-needed service and care to our seniors in a Christian environment. We really want you to be part of the entire journey, so we continue to lay that foundation. Here's what's happening next. See you next time.